I'm Elisa and welcome to Polymer Clay TV. Today I want to share with you some new gilding polish that we found when we went to a trade show and we couldn't resist it because it is such cool colors. The texture is really cool. It works great on raw or baked clay and we just loved it. And one of the cool things that we loved about it too is you don't have to go hunting around for a sponge, it's built into the top. How cool is that? But the colors are so rich and lush and, and we just fell in love with them. This is one of the blue colors. This is called Ocean Teal. Look at how nice that is. It's just simply gorgeous. And these are not like paints. They have a different consistency to them, almost a jello-like feel is the only thing I can really describe with these. But they have such a nice feel and a little goes a long way they come beautifully packaged in these glass jars, and they're just beautiful. I, we really love them, and we love how they work. This is the purple. Look at these rich, lush colors. We haven't seen these kind of colors anywhere, and we just fell in love with them. And uh, had to have them, of course. <laughs> and this is a citrus green. I mean, just beautiful colors. And then there is a Mediterranean blue. I know I wanted the teal and Kira wanted this Mediterranean blue, so we, we got them both. <laughs> and then this one is called Indian Pink. And they're just, they're just really lush. They have like little highlights to them. You'll see as we get going, but I wanted to show you those. And we're going we're gonna to just play around with them so you can just see how nice they are. I just have some conditioned clay here, and this is um, the Rose Gold from Primo. And... To do this, you just would lay your stencil down. Now, one of the things that these paints say is to, there's a sp the sponge applicator, and, and let me just tell you one thing about this applicator. When you go to open it, don't go to pull it straight up. Pull it on the side. See how I did that? It snaps in, but you want to pull it sideways, because otherwise it's too hard to get out, and this is, you don't want to break it. It's meant to be pulled to the side. So just remember that when you're using these. Um, so you can use the applicator, you can use your finger, whatever it is that you want, it's up to you. Um, but you don't need to get a lot on here. You just want a, uh, just a nice little amount on the sponge. Now, one, okay, so I was about to tell you. On the, on the bottom, the directions say to wet your sponge and get it soapy. That's for paint, I, I mean for paper and things like that. You don't need to do that with polymer clay. In fact, I don't recommend you getting this sponge soapy with polymer clay. You want to just go straight out of here and, uh, you know, dip your sponge right into it. And so you can go, you can either do a blotting motion, like, like so, like you would do any kind of stencil, you would usually blot it like this, or you can even do a sweeping across. It's totally up to you, but I, with stencils, I prefer this, because that way, stencils have little lines, and you don't want to interrupt, you don't want to break apart those lines or damage your stencil, so pouncing it is the best way to do it. And if you find you need to get into those little crevices, you can always take your finger too and, and gotta give it a little swoosh like that if the sponge isn't doing every little crevice that you want. So you, like I said, you can use it with or without the sponge. Um, the sponge helps to do like an overall type of thing, and if you like I said, need to go into a, a smaller space, then by all means use your fingers. <laughs> or you can even use a paintbrush, really. Anything with this, it'll work. Okay, so you do want to wash off your sponge when you're done with it. And of course, if you get it all over your fingers, like I did, you want to wipe that up before you think about changing colors. Um, and that's that's one of the cool things about this. I like to I like to put multiple colors. And you know what's awesome is, yes, you need to go wash out your um, sponge. However, you're not sitting there with open, open, you know, stuff. You can close it and still use your sponge, which is, which is nice. So let's, let's go with this teal color. And I'm going to just use my fingers this time. You can kind of see it's kind of jello-y. I don't know other way to show you that on camera, but you'll see um, when you start playing with them. And so, you know, you can just then add layers onto your stamps like so and and add colors and you could add pigments anything you want till you get it the way you want and so when you have it the way you want obviously you just peel the stencil back and 
and unveil your beautiful design. Look at how pretty that is. And so obviously now you want to wash your sponge and, and your stencil and get that nice clean for the next time you use it. So let's just do some music notes. I'll show you that in the other colors. So again, I'm rolling over. I like to roll over so that there's no place where the where the paint or polish or whatever you're using can get underneath there, which is is something I like. You're gonna see me using my fingers, but chances are I'll use the um, the sponge more. But right now, I kind of just don't want to have to go wash each one of these and stop the camera from rolling. So I'm gonna just show you with my fingers. I don't want my paint to dry into all of these. Okay, so that's the pink color. And so I can close that. Let's see, what color did we not do? We haven't done this um, Mediterranean blue. It's so jello -y. It's so cool. It fe even feels cool to work with. <laughs> so, you know, it goes a long way, as you can see when, when I'm doing this. I'm not taking a ton on my finger. I'm just, uh, just enough so that I can get it through the stencil and onto the clay and get a nice coverage. And that's that. And then I think we just have the purple to show. So the purple, oh, this is my favorite, of course. I, any of you that know me know how much I love purple. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous purple. I love it. And stenciling is so easy to do, and you can put any kind of mediums through a stencil. That's one of the, the cool things about it. You don't have to just stick with, you know, paint. You could put powders. You can put um, crackle paint, anything. Okay, so let's unveil this so that you can see those beautiful colors. And there you have it. How beautiful is that? I mean, the colors are just so vibrant and beautiful. And, and in person, you'll see a little bit more how it has a shimmer to it. And just beautiful. We love them. So that's what these gilding polishes do. You can use them, like I said, baked or unbaked clay. It'll work just fine. You can use these on paper crafting and, and anything you want, really. I mean, they're not made for fabric, but... You can use them on paper, you can use them on cardboard, you can use them on polymer clay. You know, any of your mixed media projects they would work wonderful on. And these are actually, these come from the UK. So um, they come a long way, <laughs> but I'll tell you what, we love them and I think you will too. So I hope you enjoy this and we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.